Ready and raring to go. The future now. This is the man who believes he is the future of the heavyweight division. And how much ambition does Espindola still have left? You know, he really does need respect showing. And Espindola is starting out doing just that, managing to stay away from the bombs that are going to be raining down on him very soon. Good feint there from, from Thomas just before he landed the shots. Yeah, he had a bit of an issue in his last fight that, that went the distance. And he goes, and those two very swift right hands. And again, just flicks that right hand up again, stinging punches. Tempts his man to come out and throw his right hand with the hope that he can launch a counter, but... Itama, he just, he just stepped back and created a little bit of distance and landed a good jab. And Espindola, who's trying his best to keep the distance such that he's not going to be on the end of anything big, but you feel like you're biding your time here. Yeah, look, I think Espindola, one of his issues is he's, he's just fearful to punch and he, he's kind of happy to not to get hit, or not to get hit clean, rather than try and win himself. But that was a lovely body shot from Itama. See if he can do any damage, but it's uh, only temporary. Yeah, it, it, it's almost like he's nodding in appreciation of the fact that he's getting tapped every time. Rather than trying to win, if, it, if they're trying not to get stopped. Oh, he made it happen here. But he's trying to do just that, and again... He's a solid chin, this guy. But he's got to remain calm. Patience, composure. Perseverance, attributes he's going to need as he plows on through this heavyweight division. <laughs> again, Itama is there, the right hand lands into the, the body. Itama's best he can do is, again, a wild swing out just to keep Itama off him. There's no reason why not that Itama couldn't be putting four, four five, oh, six punch combinations together. But that was good work there, but he needs to do more of it. to the body, the right hand to the side of the head again. And it's all very well, it's been no luck nodding his, his approval and just that I've taken it, is that the best you can do? The end of the second round, comfortable round again for Itama. Yeah. Rather than single attacks, double attacks and treble attacks and five, six, seven punch combinations, he get rid of this guy. I don't think he's prepared to do it. It's almost like it's, it's too easy for him to just continue to do it this way, but... I mean, this is so one-sided, it's, it's, it's getting a bit boring, isn't it? It's one of them fights where I'm just willing and hoping that Atama is going to do a little bit more and he get rid of this, get rid of this guy, no doubt about it. And at this stage of his career, obviously, there's a lot of hype around Atama. It's important to... To look good, it's important to knock people out as well. And clearly, like I've said, and I don't want to sound like I'm harping on, he's a very, very talented fighter, but he could be doing a lot more here and just, just upping the pace a little bit. The end of round four coming with a flurry of activity again in the corner. Espindola covering up and then swinging again. One goes in after the bell. You know, I sound like I'm on repeat mode here, just a, a wee bit of urgency, and even the corner, what are the corners saying in between rounds? Are they, they tell him to go through the gears, or do they know the limitations in his engine? I mean, it's almost like he needs to get it out, he needs to get angry in there, and this is more like it. This is it. Espindola on the rope, shipping punishment now. Can Itama sustain this attack? End of round five here. Again, there's certainly been more urgency. And that was a great left hand that bludgeoned its way through the leaking defence of Espindola. He's trying to make it, like, super clean. Left hook lands. He's surprised he's not 
and tried to do more to the to the body to soften him up even more than he is. Well, they'll consider this as been a, a considerable achievement that he has managed to survive this. There's, there's a few of them that can, but there's not many, and for an 18-year-old to be able to do it. Very good. This is good, but he needs to needs to let them go more, and that's why we talk about how important it is to go through the gears to get rid of guys like this. Right. This is his way through again. This time. Uses the hook to the body. And a couple of uppercuts. And those did find a way through just above us here on the, the ring apron. But he's been battered and he's going to be very bruised in the morning. And that was a great left hook. Moves it to the body. Again comes in with a big right hand. Now he switches to the body again. Can he finish it? No, it's too late. Ladies and gentlemen, after six rounds of boxing, our referee in charge, Kevin Parker, scores this contest 62-54 for your winner and still undefeated, Moses Itelmo!